come back Your dreams were your ticket out Welcome back To that same old place that you laughed about Well, the names have all changed since you hung around But those dreams have remained and they've turned around Who'd have thought they'd need ya? Who'd have thought they'd need ya? Back here where we need ya Back here where we need ya Yeah, the tease him a lot Cause we got him on the spot Welcome back Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back Welcome back, welcome back All right, well Actually, this is the first break session. So welcome to Until It Dog Works, a thing I made mostly for myself to be able to work on projects that I've been meaning to uh, work on. And I'm getting some weird stuff here. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, it says it's connected to uh, YouTube. That's ah, a good thing I don't rely on YouTube. All right. Uh, so welcome to Until It Dog Works. It's a uh, it's kind of like a study session, kind of like a thing where you go to like a library and even though you may not be working with other folks in a group, you just kind of go there because, you know, other people are working on stuff and it kind of like uh, uh, makes you want to work. So it's kind of putting yourself in that position. So until it works, consists of ciphers and a cipher is a three hour block of time. Within each cipher, there are sessions. There's a work session and a break session. Work sessions are like 45 minutes, heads down, working on what you're working on, trying to make some progress. Basically what we just finished. And break sessions are these, where I'll pop up here uh, to let you know, hey, it's time to take a break, get up, walk around, drink some water, do what you gotta do, uh, or sit here, watch me talk about something I found interesting on the internet. Uh, the point is don't think about the thing you were just thinking about. Let your mind relax and kind of just uh, let it you know, breathe a little bit. All right, then, uh, like I said, I'll pop up in here uh, with the video. If you ever come to the site and we're in the middle of a break session, the video may look like it's frozen, and that's because browsers don't allow for autoplay video with audio. That's why they don't notice they're saying you may need to click play to start the stream. Then uh, next to that, there's an open closed caption button where if you uh, – I'm using the speech recognition API that's built into Chrome browsers to turn my speech into text. And if you click that button, a space will open up. And the words I am saying will hopefully be transcribed accurately and placed in that box. Uh, then there are two buttons there, add a clip, create a highlights video. They're broken. Don't worry about that. There's a countdown timer, uh, countdown when the next uh, work session will start. And then there's a button if you'd like to join to chat or ask questions. All right, cool. There's that. All right, now the work session looks like this. Uh, do, do, do. Work session, cool, this one, great. So it looks something similar to this. In the upper right-hand corner, if you check out subscribe, it has a list of all the upcoming ciphers you can subscribe to to get notified when we go live. Then there's the, on the left-hand side, there's an audio player. So if you want to listen to music to, uh, listen, if you want some music to listen to while you're working on what you're working on, it's right there. It's a band camp player, so I had some uh, really, uh, talented producer friends submit music for random projects I create. And so I link to their band camp and uh, so you can purchase the track, share it, or also add the ability to tweet it out. It's kind of working. Uh, band camp did something and it kind of broke the functionality uh, that I had, but it's probably fine. I don't give it a shot. Here toward the center, uh, the to-do section where it says add a task. You type in the task, hit enter or the plus button, and it'll add it to the list. You can edit the task by clicking the text. You can delete it by clicking the X button, or if you want to mark it complete, click the checkbox, and I'll send it to this done section right here. And if you click done, it'll show you all the things you got completed. If you click the Twitter icon, it'll open up Twitter, and it'll pre-populate a tweet with all the things you got done. And so at the end of the uh, ciphers, I kind of like, uh, you know, post a tweet, like, hey, I got some stuff done, feeling good going into the week. All right, then in the right column, we have a uh, countdown timer, count when the next break session happens. Again, that's like 15 minutes after the hour. Now, view tutorials. So let's say uh, you don't have anything in particular that you'd like to get done, but you still kind of want to feel uh, productive. And you've been hearing about web development, and you're like, oh, sounds cool, but don't know where to start. 
So I have links to Free Code Camp and the Odin Project. And from what I've seen from the curriculum and what people have told me that have gone through them, I believe if you finish those uh, projects, you'll have a good understanding of what it takes to do web development. And then from there, you can make an educated decision on whether or not you want to spend more time and or money in pursuing it. Now, if you're already into web development and maybe you're just looking for like a quick project to get you started and get your you know creative juices going and maybe build on top of that project, I have links to three tutorials and they're on the developer portal of Vonage. And I'm a Vonage, I'm a, I'm a JavaScript developer advocate at Vonage. So part of my responsibilities are to like look over tutorials. And so I have three tutorials there. One where you, um, after the tutorial, following through the tutorial, you have this application where you put your phone number into an input box, hit call, and your real world phone will ring. Then I have one that's the opposite where you get a virtual number, you hook it up to the application that you create following that tutorial, and then you can call that virtual number and then answer it in your application and have a conversation back and forth. Then there's one where two users like log in to the application that you create following the tutorial and one can call the other through the browser and have a conversation back and forth. So uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool stuff. All right, Hako, we'll come back to show and tell sign up. If you want to come up here and talk about something you found interesting on the internet, feel free to do so. Show and tell sign up will walk you through that process. And now uh, the highlight thing, again, broken. Don't worry about it. Hako. Hako stands for help a coder slash creator out. It's a thing that I made so that if you ever get stuck working on the thing that you're working on, you'll be able to create a Hako, which is a room. You'll be able, be able to invite people to join that room. And hopefully together as a collaborative, you'll be able to come up with the solution or the feedback on the thing that you're working on. So if you're a click uh, view uh, Hako, it'll show you all the different Hakos that have been created. You can click the creator's name to open up Twitter or GitHub, depending on where they logged in with, to check out their profile to see whether or not you'd like to request to join. Then I have a filter list by different keywords. So if you want looking for something specific, you can do that there. All right, you click create. It would then uh, present you with this form. You put in the title, three keywords, and then you hit create. It'll generate a unique URL that you can then copy or click to share to Twitter. Uh, then when you join your Hako, it looks like this. We've got the uh, title at the top. Over the right-hand side, you can leave the Hako if you so choose, and then you can open the menu for some more options. We have a text chat here on the right. And then on the left, we have a countdown timer calendar when the next break session happens. Again, that's like 15 minutes out of the hour. You can copy the URL again, and you can click to share to Twitter. When someone clicks your link, they just don't automatically join your room. They're actually requesting to join your room. So they'll show up under pending. You'll be able to click their name the username to open up Twitter or GitHub, again, depending on what they logged in with. And then from there, you can decide whether you like to approve or deny them from coming into your room. Now, if you do approve them and they turn out to be a terrible person, we can always ban them and kick them out of your room. Now, you as the owner of the Hako, only you can share your screen because the point of the Hako is for you to be able to get help or feedback on the thing that you're working on. And I think by being able to share your screen, you'll be able to provide the context for everyone else to be able to see what you see and get you the help or the feedback that you're looking for. All right, now the way you communicate through the Hako, uh, we got a text chat. You put in your message here at the bottom, hit send, and it'll add it to the list of messages. I also add the ability to enable audio chat. So anybody who has their audio chat enabled, we'll be able to speak to and hear each other. Uh, but don't worry for the folks who don't have audio chat enabled, they'll still be able to follow along because what people are saying will be turned into text and put into the text chat. Now, I also have the ability to do the opposite, where enable text to speech. So if you're not looking at the text chat, you can still follow along because what people uh, put in the text chat would be read out aloud by your browser. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, again, then you can check out all the different Hakos that we created. And uh, I think that's it. Cool, I'm gonna get y'all back to work because I'm, uh, making pretty good progress on this post radio show promo stuff. So I'm almost done with all the uh, social media blasts and things. So yeah, so let me get y'all back to work. Uh, thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna send y'all off with some traveling music. So again, we'll be back 15 minutes after the hour. Uh, so share this. So got this track. It's by Nujabez featuring a Pony B. 
The track is called Thank You. Thanks for hanging out. See you uh, 15 minutes after the hour. Till then, I wish you much productivity and uh, y'all be easy. Thanks again. Peace. But let me start from the heart. I just want to stay. I think all the show would love to be. I appreciate this unique opportunity. I'm gonna rock so hard you never stop supporting me. I'm gonna show you how music is more meaning to life. I think all the show would love to be. I appreciate this unique opportunity. I'm gonna rock so hard you never stop supporting me. I'm gonna show you how music is more meaning to life. But let me start from the heart. I just want to stay. I think all the show would love to be. I appreciate this unique opportunity. I'm gonna rock so hard you never stop.